Alrighty, everybody. What's going on? Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's your boy Alistair BL, and I'm back with you with another video. Okay, so this video we got part two of the Sawyer Guide, alright? Uh, for this one, we'll be covering the basics of neutral air and forward air, why they're important, like a you know, a basic little beginner combo theory when it comes to Sora. And we got some more basic combos, you know what I'm saying? So if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate it if you could like, comment, and subscribe, you know what I'm saying, to the channel. I'd appreciate it. Um, also, if you haven't seen um, part one of my guide before, um, I would highly recommend it as we're going to be getting into, or I'm assuming that you already know about what's going on with his moveset. And um, we, will, we will capitalize on that. All right, I apologize about that. So... Without further ado, let's get into it. Before we get started, um, what I'm going to break down and cover is that I am using the training mod pack, as you can see, right? I'm using the training mod pack, and I will have Mario set to things like uh, air dodge, <clears throat> set thing, uh, set to things like air dodge. Like for example, if I do that, like, or if I do this, like he air dodge, right? And then depending on the uh, the situation or like the direction that I want him to DI, I will say either DI away or DI in. I will say it for as I'm like filming live right now, but then I'll also have the annotations on the top, like uh, probably like the top right corner, which seems like the best place, quote unquote, to put it. So please keep that in mind. All right. So let's go ahead and get started on neutral air. All right. Neutral air is the foundation of Sora. I'm talking about like. It's one of his main approach tools in neutral. Uh, no pun intended, obviously neutral, neutral. My bad. <laughs> um, it's a combo starter slash extender. It's the it's the start of the infamous noops or nair loops, if you uh if you will. And I will be covering that in another video. So keep that in mind. As in, like I said, I'm keeping it basic here, but I will go deep and dive into the the nair loops when we get to it. Okay. Um, let's see what else. It leads into various kill confirms that either do that either do great damage or kill. It uh, is useful as like a mix-up tool as to like how you can open up your opponent. Like boom, you hit them like this or something like that using Nair one, two, and three. Again, we'll talk about that. Uh, it can be used as an edge garden tool. However, like fair is more reliable for it as like uh, I'll cover that as well. All right, it walks your dog. It takes your exams for you. It does your taxes. All that. All right. Is an amazing move. This is like the, the pinnacle of what starts with Sora. Just keep that in mind, all right? Neutral air is where Sora swings his keyblade all around him. See how he like does a little front flip? He's like tumbling and stuff doing gymnastics. Um, it has three hitboxes. We'll cover this later. Um, we'll cover this later when we get into combo theory, as like that becomes very important when it comes to combos, all right? Uh, it can be done up to three times. So like one, two, three, right? Oops, like one, two, three. And then you can either delay the hits, like one, two, one, two, and then three. Or you can also fast fall between all three of them. For example, fast fall in there one, fast fall in there two, fast fall in there three. As such, and you see like the cute little, cute little blue sparkle, little sparkle. Each nair will be more unsafe than the last, all right? What I mean by that is, is, um, like you you can and you should be spacing this when you're applying this for pressure because at the end of the day Sora still follows like the basic like the sortie concept right so mine so uh i'm sorry nair one like when you safely land it right would be minus six on shield and then nair two and three are minus eight on shield meaning obviously you will be a lot more unsafe when you are doing this so when it hits your opponent as well like for example you see how like i'm kind of like rising up as like i'm doing there like this when you hit your opponent, whether it's on shield or just hitting them in general, it'll keep you in that position that you can hit them to allow you to either continue comboing or just to like kind of keep them there for pressure or it stops you for things like, let's say you're double jumping and you're all the way up there like woo and you want to stop yourself when you do neutral air. Watch the difference between when I do full hop neutral air right now, oh sorry, full hop neutral air right here or when I do it right here. Actually, short, short hop is a perfect example. So, boom, right here, right? And then I will stay in a certain place to be able to combo more things. It's more like, uh, it's a lot more like evident when you do things like, okay, you see how I just double jump there like that? Or double jump like that, and I'm like going high as hell. So, if I do just IDJ, 
nair i stay in place it's like i did short hop but essentially i'm doing a double jump to stop myself and then be able to continue the pressure and stuff like that knockback wise this will um like neutral air will send your opponent like more vertically than it is horizontally which um means that like, you could potentially kill off the top <clears throat> you could potentially kill off the top and that'll become like a lot more important for later however it's just keep this in mind where like because neutral air is going to be going uh like up so then you're not really going to use it for like edge guarding and going off like oh well i want to kill you with like this nair and stuff like that off to the side i'll be real if you could kill somebody off the side to the to the nair or with a nair well first of all you crazy um second of all good on you all right next let's talk about uh let's talk about forward air which is your main edge garden tool all right it's your main edge garden tool it's used as a combo extender instead of like a combo starter because if you do like a combo starter it's like a lot more unsafe i'll talk about that in a second it's uh, a combo extender and a combo ender so things like if you want to do like boom watch this right so i'll do nair fair yes combo ender right boom magic uh it's great as an air-to-air -to -air tool in neutral but it should be used sparingly since it isn't like as safe in neutral with like fair one being uh what's it called like for example you could do something like this right like let's say mario's hypothetically speaking jumping and i could just catch him like that um what was i gonna say but again you don't want to use it like in neutral because fair one is minus nine on shield fair two is minus 10 on shield and fair three is minus 11 on shield so um because i personally go more off of game sense myself rather than like the numbers for frame data dummy unsafe you understand me dummy unsafe you are much better off using neutral air as a uh, as a pressure tool and well in neutral again no pun intended <laughs> so how forward air works and i should have explained this all right Sora swings his uh his keyblade right in front of him you see how like for neutral air it's like a flip but then, like neutral air is like more in front of him like that it's just like neutral air where you can do it all three times one two three oops sorry one two three you can delay each like one, two, and then three. Yes. Or you can fast fall in between all of them. So fast fall fair one, fast fall fair two, and then three. Okay? So the knockback is more horizontal than vertical, like compared to um compared to neutral air. So that is a good thing. What does that what does that entail for us in this case? That means as an edge guarding tool, this is a lot more valuable. Way more valuable. When you're going off the edge and you're trying to kill, you want to use forward air instead of um, instead of uh, neutral air. Also, it has the same property as where, let's say, you're like doing IDJ or whatever, right? Or you're doing a jump. Like if you IDJ fair, it keeps you in place. Well, kind of hard to like do, unless like now. See how like I stay in place instead of like going all the way up. So knowing the visual and overall difference between neutral air and forward air is extremely important for you the sora the sora player but when you're fighting against him it's not as important unless like uh it's not as important as they look very similar now if you really want to go off of the technical stuff and be like oh okay because fair fair one is minus nine on shield and neutral air is minus uh what's it called hold on let me get my numbers right sorry minus six on shield and you sense that and you can see it all right ggs that is a good that is great that you uh can do that slash point that out however I think it's not worth it in the end because you're you gotta be focusing and paying more attention to, to Sora and sometimes it's just gonna look like another keyblade swing, I'll be real. Let's go ahead and get to the beginner part of combo theory. What I mean by that is this is a basic idea, this will be a basic idea of how Sora's combos work. And I'll be describing it in more de into way more detail, like uh, in terms of uh, advanced stuff in the next video. Um, but before I start, let's get some things out of the way. Let's talk about controls, okay? So for me, whenever it comes to, uh, I have L set to jump. All right, I have L set to jump. Actually, let's talk about controls. Okay, as you can see, I just moved the camera down for this slight uh, situation so you guys can see my controls. I have L set to jump, um, R set to shield. Me personally, I highly recommend setting a jump button to L. Um, and it will come in handy later to be able to help with your IDJ fares. I will talk about that in a bit. Um, and also like, let's say, okay, you don't, you want to use L as a shield, but then like, okay, whichever button you use as shield, the opposite should be jump. For example, I use shield as R, so then you should jump with L or if you use L as shield, jump with, uh, with R 
etc. I use Z as grab. Um, I set the C to, um, or I'm sorry, the C stick to tilt. Um, that's just how, that's just my personal preference. I also do rumble. I'm a, I'm a rumble guy. I'm sorry. Um, I don't have tap jump on and I put sticks as stick sensitivity to high because I like to I like to be real sensitive with my inputs. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I like to be draking it when it comes to my uh, to my sensitivity. We up in our feelings when it comes to these controls. You understand me? <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so that's like uh, that's my default uh, layout of how my controls are. All right. Let's get into combo theory. Let's jump right into it. So I've already showed you my controls uh, based on how I did previously. Now, let's talk about something really stupid and really basic. All right, uh, let's put Mario right here. Yes, you can do down throw nair one, two, three. Yes, that is absolutely a thing. However, look at the damage difference between this, 20, and this. Right, oops, actually. And this yes that is a 10 percent difference i get it that does not seem like it's gonna be like much now but it will be vital later so you get so you can get the most damage out of your combos this is extremely important because as sora um and how mix-up heavy he is and how powerful and potent he is when it comes to damage you want to be able to capitalize capitalize on the damage because there's you do the really basic stuff, then you capital, you can capitalize a little bit, then you optimize on it, you know what I'm saying? It's all of that. As I am demonstrating uh, these and doing these combos, understand, again, I am using the training mod pack where the opponent is set to air dodge, and then right now, he is set to DI away. Uh, actually, can't really see it from here. That's my fault. Um, set to DI away unless I annotate otherwise, okay? So one of the most important things you want to master when it comes to a lot of his combos will be nair one into fast fall nair two more specifically short hop nair one like this so uh a couple ways that you can do that short hop is either you can do like you can press your jump button your jump button and the attack button together so like l and l like either l and a or x and a if you have it or whatever like and you have a guaranteed short hop you want that to be the thing like and it becomes important because okay you don't have to manually do the short hop command or whatever and then do it it already does it for you it's essentially like a macro but like you know what I'm saying it, it works out for you now when you do the nair when you do the nair one you're gonna go into nair one short hop nair one and then you're gonna fast fall nair two as close to the ground as you possibly can get how do you know that this is gonna work? How do you know that this is gonna work? You see how Mario just air dodge right there? You know that you've done Nair one into Nair two correctly. One, because he, he won't air dodge. Number two, he'll be like slightly above you as such. Now, just to show again, another form of proof that, that's, that this is true. And like I said, he said to air dodge and everything. He's gonna do Nair one, Nair two, fast fall Nair two, sorry, into uh, up tilt. You see how Mario could not air dodge out of that? That's how you know that it's true. And you want to keep this in mind as this is going to be the pinnacle of how the rest of these things connect. There is a very common conception of if you miss slash drop combos, it's probably because either you, again, like I said, we'll talk about the hair, the hitbox in a second uh, with the Nair hitbox or the Nair one hitbox at first. Either you did not do the hitbox correctly or you did not time Nair two correctly, aka didn't fast all of this close to the ground as you possibly can while it hits. Now, when I was talking about Nair 1 and 2, not only is it good, or not only is this combo slash string in itself good to use for uh, for combos, right? It's also good for mix-ups in neutral. So, for a very small example, very, very small example, let me see if I can do this correctly. So, let's see how we talked about Nair 1 and Nair 2, right? See, see this pressure that I can potentially do? So, obviously, like, if they get to a certain point, they can, like, drop shield or whatever. But, like, real quick... Uh, just for a mix-up nair one you could do, do it into a grab if uh fat do nair one short hop nair one sorry fast fall that's a grab that's one thing you could do you could do nair one nair two if they get hit by it continue the combo if they don't get hit by it well you could potentially do another nair one and two and let's say people's uh main habit is to shield grab so you could do nair one two delay the third one you see how like mario just got out of there assume that that was like a shield grab situation knock him out of there and then you're good to go now before we go into combos there's another extremely important concept um i want to talk about okay remember when i said nair has three different hitboxes well here's where oh, what's it called i will show you a picture of where this comes into play and where this becomes extremely important there's three hitboxes 
um, that are on this particular on neutral layer. There is the newt box, the nair loop hit box, the one that we want, which is at the tip of the blade, the garbage hit box, which is in the middle. We never want this hit box. All right, and the pop up hit box. It's uh, which is uh, at the um, what's it called is at the very like front of the keyblade. So it's not exactly the most like ideal, but it'll be important for later when I cover it in the next video when it comes to like platform combos and stuff like that. All right. So the reason why the outermost part of the keyblade is so important is because it gives us 10 frames of extra hit stun, which makes it important, or which is important to make our simple and also advanced combos work to our advantage like work themselves out and be able to actually connect because what's going to happen is let's say you connect with like the middle hitbox and you have that only four extra hit stun frames there will be sometimes where you'll try to go for forward air and people will fall out in like air dodge forward why because you messed up the uh the timing okay as good as the newt box is i'm sorry newt hitbox is it has the lowest priority and if it overlaps with the middle hitbox meaning like any any form of touching the middle hitbox you just lost that extra six frames because you know four plus six equals ten which we do want that ten extra uh uh frames of hit sun and stuff so i'll go over i'll go over this again briefly when we cover the nair loops um in another video but just so you know hey this is a thing and this is important and this isn't me just spouting bs and like making it up when it comes to combos you will most likely start your combos with a few options. So either short hop near one into fast fall near two, <clears throat> down throw, down tilt, or fast fall near one. These are these are the main or these are like one of the main ways that you will open up people with combos. And they all will, as you will see, you'll start getting a pattern when we get to the basic combos as they all tend to connect within each other, okay? Well, not connect within each other, but they have certain uh, certain combo routes that are the same. Now, I will say for as far as an exception is concerned, for fast fall near one, you're going to need to do an IDJ uh, or instant double jump in this case, um, near one into fast fall near two as such. Oops. Like that instead of because if you do idj or if you do like normal near one near two it's less like you're less likely to make it this like idj near one and in, into into fast fall near two makes it like uh guaranteed to combo more more complicated obviously but it is a, it is a factor that we uh that you want to get into now we're gonna go into some basic combos which is at lower percent before we start these combos Please keep in mind that these are the basics, and I may have not covered all of the uh, the combos that you can possibly do. Either some may be covered within the next video, or because they depend mostly on various character weights, percentages, rage, stages, frame one escape options, and also that Sora is a very, very free flow character to when it comes to combos and essentially playstyle as well. And to where you may even find like you may find even more combos outside of this video okay also for notations that i will put into the into like the uh video when i make it nair is new ne equals neutral air fair equals forward air uh d throw equals down throw d tilt equals down tilt idj equals instant jump short hop is short hop i'm sorry damn it sh is short hop <laughs> um ff is fast fall and di is direction of influence basic combos at low percent let me make sure i'm still good on the guide playlist oh yeah i got more than enough time beautiful all right let's go ahead and go into these young combos short hop near one fast on there two one two three boom that's easy that's combo one. Oh, there we go sorry <laughs> let's try that again okay that was i was about to say that's really stupid anyway Next, you're gonna have we're gonna have short hop near one, fast fall near two, into uh, up tilt, and then forward air. Now with the forward air, you may have to jump a bit backwards because sometimes, um, oh, it's probably because of di away as well. But sometimes uh, people will go backwards, like they'll go like instead of in front of you or whatever. Like how you see, I could just do this, and then the, you see how Mario just went behind me. Safe rule: always go back a little bit. Oops, just a little bit, just, ah, ah. I don't know why it's, like, mixing me up now, but as such, okay? Next, we're gonna do 
Fast fall nair one into IDJ nair one. Fast fall nair two. Fair one two three. Next we got fast fall nair one into IDJ nair one. Fast fall nair two. Up tilt up air. Yes, this is a mouthful. It sounds like a mouthful, but these are these inputs are like very Pacific. <laughs> specific no pacific no let me stop playing it's specific but i like to say pacific for the fun of it um these are like i say these annotations for a reason this isn't me just trying to yank a chain up air boom easy money now we're gonna do fast fall nair one into idj nair one fast fall nair two into up tilt and fair one two three and yet again you might have to jump backwards There we go. Oh, I failed to mention. I should have mentioned this. The combo counter does not matter here. As you saw that I put previously where he's like set to air dodge and um, DI'ing in a certain direction. The combo counter will not like matter as much because how um, Sora's combos works. Work, sorry. are They are very frame tight to where like you essentially get to have a certain action quote unquote at frame one to where like that's why frame one escape options are uh, more feasible in these cases because those are able to get out but when it comes to things like anything frame two or later they could be like still put into these combos next we're gonna do down throw into short hop nair one fast fall nair two fair one two three Oops. so you want to dash forward because you may miss if like you stay in place like this sometimes you might make it sometimes you won't as such so i'm like not even trying to like scoot forward so like i'm here Sometimes it may work, sometimes it won't, because especially like depending on how like small like your character or I'm sorry, how small your opponent might be, it might be more feasible to do that. Also, remember, right? We're still trying to keep that very edge, very tip of the hitbox. If it's able to work, then you're good to go. Like boom, boom. Like see, I messed up. Boom, boom. I boom, boom, boom. Easy money, GGs, all that. All right. Next, we'll have down throw into dash short hop. Nair one, fast fall nair two, up tilt up air. That sucks. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody doesn't want to be true. There you go. And then finally, we're gonna have down throw. Oh, whoops. We're gonna have dash. Oh, damn it. Down throw, dash short hop, uh, nair one, fast fall nair two, up tilt fair one two three. By now, I'm sure you're noticing a pattern here that you have many a ways to go the same exact route like there's more than one way to climb up a mountain some are easier ways some are harder ways some like you might just want to do to make yourself feel better you want to feel stylish you know what i'm saying next we got down tilt down tilt is an interesting one because you will have um you can have situations where you'll still have the same idj or the short hop near one to fast fall near two into the rest correct but you can also IDJ this as well. So for example, right, I could do down tilt, short hop near one, short hop near one, fast fall near two, okay? And it still works. However, I can also like, as I do like mess that up, do the timing, boom. Now, you can also do IDJ, IDJ near one into fast fall near two. So this one, when you get like, when they're further away as such, it becomes more uh, more potent because you'll be able to keep them like in a certain place. Now, do you have to do this? No, but it does work. Like for example, with stuff like that with up tilt. So again, we're gonna do down tilt, short hop near one. Uh, yeah, short hop near one, fast fall near two, fair one, two, three. And just like I said before, we're gonna do IDJ instead. As such. Okay. Next, we're gonna have um, down tilt into short hop near one, fast fall near two, up tilt up air. Right? Boom, 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 boom. GGs. Now we're gonna do the uh, the IDJ variant. All right. Next, we're gonna do down tilt into short hop fair one. Fast fall, uh, fast fall, near two, up tilt, forward air, and then or up tilt into forward air, and then again you may have to jump backwards as usual. Uh, down tilt, 
uh, IDJ or sorry, short hop nair one, fast one nair two, up tilt, bear one, two, three. You do short hop nair one in the fast one nair two, it can become a bit tougher to like land, like even on the comma counter, it's got it, that's crazy. Um, usually that's why I like the IDJ one as such is like a better idea because look, flawlessly, because it keeps them um, in like a better situation to uh be able to get like combo better and we'll again we'll cover that a lot more when it comes to like the nair loops and stuff all right next we're gonna do idj nair one into fast fall nair two up till up air up air all right next we're gonna do idj idj nair one into fast fall nair two up till fair one two three as usual you may have to jump a bit backwards again this one is an option that you can do but a lot of times you're gonna do IDJ like IDJ nairs out of like or IDJ nair one into fast fall nair two either as a combo like extender or after you have done something else like fast fall nair one into or, I'm sorry short hop nair one into fast fall nair two. That's like the most common thing that you will see for that. But overall, as you can see, you have many different options that can lead into the same strings and net you a good amount of damage for it. And that's what we wanna we wanna get ourselves into, okay? Now, let's go ahead and get into mid percents. Um, it starts to get a bit different, and we'll go for. And again, keep in mind this is the basic stuff. Um, <clears throat> it's the basic stuff, and we shall keep it. Uh, we'll we'll keep it simple that way. So, first thing we're gonna do is short hop near one, fast fall near two, up air. Boom, easy money, right? That's going to become come in handy later because that is also a kill confirm as well. <laughs> Next, we're going to do short hop nair one into fast fall nair two, and we can do IDJ up air as well, as such. So as you see, it launches you up higher, and it, it keeps you closer, a bit closer to the opponent, and it can you can vary with certain follow ups depending on how they di and stuff like that. Um. So for example, so. As you can see, right, I just did um, short hop, fit, short hop near one, fast one near two, IDJ up air, and you can lead into things like neutral air where you were like just at the top. Again, that's just, that's some more like advanced stuff. We'll talk about that later, but like I said, we just keep it strict to the basics. Okay, next we're gonna have IDJ near one into fast fall near two into up air. Same thing, right? Same idea, same, same idea, same concept um again this is where you're going to either try to double jump and stop yourself in doing this or if you're just like hey i just want to i'm just feeling myself i'm feeling stylish now watch this you can do the same exact thing idj nair one fast fall nair two idj up air this is where i recommend using a jump button like or a double uh, or like a shoulder button because it makes it a lot easier for you to do um pressing uh <clears throat> it makes it a lot easier for you to do double jump pressing it twice with your l button and then pressing up on the c stick opposed to doing a jump button with the uh what's it called with pressing x twice or y twice whichever jump button you have and then like up on the control stick and then a that's just that's my personal preference you are you are more than free to do whatever it is that you like i'm just going off of what i do like it makes it a lot easier for me to do it with the with the jump button as i demonstrated or as i talked about so next we have the basics, the basics, all right? We got, we got, we going right back to that vanilla. Down throw, one, two, three. If you want to get it DI away, you got to, well, it's kind of hard to get, to be honest. You got to do like a very precise, like little dash. You can still do it. it. Don't, don't get me wrong. It's like you get the dash to come out. I messed it up now. I'm sorry. <laughs> very precise, but when most likely when people di away you don't don't really want to stress about um like trying to follow up with down throw the it when it comes to things like forward air and stuff like that and then also with down throw and up air it's most likely when they are um what's it called it's most likely when they're DIing in and you can definitely put people into a lot of bad situations with that with that real quick recommendation I highly recommend do not pummel or I'm sorry if you're gonna do pummel do at least like one and do then do a down throw but you still got to remember you're a mix-up character you can put people in like blender situations and stuff like that just do a real quick throw that's what I usually do 
Um, obviously it puts you into a harder situation where you got to react to certain things or it's like, oh, I got to be a lot more quicker for when it comes to reactions, but it's kind of worth it. It's kind of worth it. In my opinion, you understand? So we're going to have down tilt, fair one, two, three. See how when, uh, as we're at a higher percent, we start putting them in the tumble state. Boom, one, two, three, right? So what you also can do is down tilt into, oops, down tilt into IDJ one, two, three. That's gonna come, oh, that's gonna come later when we do the next video talking about them loops. Keep that, keep that one in mind. Keep that, keep that in mind. And then also you have down tilt into IDJ up air as such. Can lead into other follow-ups. All right, I kind of spoiled it. So it's <laughs> stuff like up B, but Again, we're gonna keep that in mind. We will talk about that in another video. But again, when you, as you start getting into higher percent percentages, things become like you gotta switch up your combo game. But things also tend to like combo into each other like better, either for like kill setups or for like better mix-ups on your opponent. Oh, excuse me. All right, finally, let's go ahead and get into them young kill confirms. All right. First one we're gonna do is fast fall near one into F smash. The DI doesn't really matter. Um, you can still get this regardless. Yes, that is true. Even the combo counter says it's true. Yes, this is a thing. You will get slapped by this. Yes, it is a thing. I promise. Um, I believe this, let me double check to see this. I lied. You can also do forward air. Fast fall or fast fall fair one into F smash. I, I or I recommend doing fast fall near one into it because it's a lot more reliable. But that is a thing. This is a concept. Yes, you can absolutely like if you're just short hopping or whatever, you just hit your young near one. That's GG's. It's a very fast option. Very very fast option. You can also do the back hit of fast fall near one into up smash. Oh, when I get it correctly, boing as such. <laughs> also, you can do. Um, for a actually, I guess I should put them at a higher percent. Apologize about it not killing. Hmm. Well, I'm hitting the sour spot, which is the unfortunate part, but when it becomes to the sweet spot, yes, this is a kill confirm. I wonder if I just made myself off why I just invalidated myself for not killing. I'm sorry, I promise this is a kill confirm. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> next we're gonna have shore hop near one into fast fall near two into up b Let's see if i can do this correctly so boom boom up b so when it comes to trying to kill with this one actually because you can do it at like a, like really high percents as well so let's say we try 115 and see if it works it's on it's like it's, it's kind of precise to hit it's like really precise to hit when you're like attempting to do it like, because you have to hit, like, a certain part of Nair, too. However, please keep in mind, that is a kill confirm. I almost killed. That's actually ghetto. That didn't kill. Anyway, um, let's try this. Make sure it's good. Boom. Now, see how when I was talking to you guys about how doing short hop Nair 1 and then fast on Nair 2 is close to the ground as you possibly can? How it comes in clutch here? Very, very important. Because it will help you land these other uh, these other combos. All right, and then what you can also do is you can do short hop near one, fast fall near two into up smash. Boing! <laughs> See, your boy Mario got teleported into death. This is a very very solid kill confirm. Now, does it have to necessarily be at 120? Yeah, you can do it at like a little bit earlier. Will it kill? We'll see. Blah! No mind. Oops. I just spit into the mic literally. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, it's better using it like about 100 plus, but keep in mind that this is a very good confirm that you can use. Next, we got the, oh, we got the big one. We got down tilt and the up smash. But down tilt up smash is a thing that can kill. And keep in mind when you have things like rage and stuff, it may kill earlier slash like you can hit them earlier. Just keep that, uh, keep that entire thing in mind. Um, next, we have down tilt into up air. Which that absolutely will kill at these particular percentages. It's ironic I can get all these kills when it comes to playing, but I can't do it now. 
anyway you get the idea and then finally for a kill confirm you can do down throw into up air if they di in the reason why i say di in in this case is because you see how like look at that it just said like just sit and duck remember how i was telling you guys before like don't try to when it comes to like certain situations you don't want to pummel this is why because when you start pummeling and stuff right you give your opponent time to think and they're probably going to be like oh well maybe i should di away instead of being like oh my gosh i'm just gonna do uh what's it called i'm just gonna panic option and do like the normal default thing for smash bros and then just di in or for for ultimate sorry for like melee it's like different di stuff like that but for ultimate like the default di people usually do is di in to like uh make sure they're um make sure they don't die when they like get hit with like heavy knockback and stuff like that okay so that will conclude this part of my sora guide thank you guys so much for watching and i hope that you enjoy it please make sure to like comment on what you think of the video and also subscribe to see my future content and next video we will be touching on the infamous and the very important nair neutral air slash fair loops neutral air slash fair ladders advanced combo theory and how character weights affect your combos i'll see you then